look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to talk about is The main reasons why Most men are not choosing to date um, Women of my community I'm going to let women tell you so y'all can't jump, come here and say, oh, you being mean and all this. Now, this is for educational purposes. Let me go ahead and let's get started with an example. Then I'm going to let a woman explain to you why. So hold on for one second, y'all. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> all right. Don't come for the messenger now. Now, check this out, Jack. A woman will be in love with a man for three years and wake up on a random Sunday and say, fuck that man and mean it. And I love that for us. I love being a woman. <laughs> she said that a woman will wake up on a random day and say, F this relationship. Now, that is true because women will leave relationships that's seven years long, eight years long, simply because they're bored, simply because they think they got something better waiting on them out there. And then they get in that situation, and when they get in that situation, they realize it wasn't what they wanted, and now they try to come back to you. But just the audacity of being so dismissive of somebody else's feelings is just astronomically, um, I don't know, maniacal. It's terrible. It's a horrible way to think but there are many women out there who are narcissistic that's a narcissistic woman right here i'm gonna play it again then we're gonna keep going a woman will be in love with a man for three years and wake up on a random sunday and say fuck that man and mean it and i love that for us i love being a woman <laughs> You're going to be a single woman. You're going to love being a single woman. You're going to love being a baby mama, single baby mama if you keep that up and most likely she is a baby mama <laughs> to be honest with you all right now listen to this lady actually Speak some common sense, man. You look good. You make good money. You dress nice. You smell good. You keep yourself clean. <laughs> you got your own car, crib, his, hers, whatever, whatever. You, you, you look pretty good on paper. So why are you still single? Why can't you find your person? I don't know who needs to hear this, but a lot of you need to hear this. The reason why you're still in the situation that you're in is because you lack emotional intelligence and maturity. Some of you guys have no self-awareness whatsoever. At all. That first clip was a great example of a woman who did not have emotional stability or maturity. And unfortunately, a lot of the women that we see today are nothing but tall children. They have no discipline, no self-discipline self-entitled and expect everything to go their way and expect every man to do what they say and if you don't do it then you must be a male chauvinist and that you must be displaying toxic masculinity that's true some of you guys have no self-awareness whatsoever you lack accountability you can't even have a conversation without being angry walking out storming out you can't verbally voice your opinions your feelings your thoughts or anything without blowing up or losing your mind if you can even express yourself at all some of you guys just learn to shut down and walk away you're single not because of what you look like it's because of who you are at your core you're broken exactly your character is the reason why you're single it's not because you got the biggest booty the biggest breasts or whatever it's how you treat people okay and she's right a lot of you don't know how to communicate you always say you want a man to communicate we communicate quite we communicate quite well you just have selective hearing. You don't want equal treatment. You want preferential treatment. You want to be exalted above a level that you should not be on. You want to be pushed to the stars when you belong on the ground. It's because of who you are at your core. You're broken. You need to heal. You're bitter. You have so many traumas and issues and insecurities. You don't listen to understand. You're listening to respond. No, they don't listen to respond. They listen to react, and that's a big difference. You don't listen to understand. You're listening to respond. You're listening to talk. You want to defend yourself. You don't know how to apologize when you're wrong. You don't know how to serve anybody else. You're here to get whatever you can get from somebody, and you guys are wondering why you're single and why you can't make anything work with anybody because you're you're great on paper and on the outside, but on the inside, you're struggling with so much trauma and, and, and issues and ugliness that nobody... That's right. A lot of women need therapy. On the inside, they are traumatized. They are traumatized and also have trauma bonds. And they need to do the work. They need to do the work. But a lot of women are entering into, relationship, entering into relationships unhealed, broken. 
So you cannot get with these women because if you get with a woman who is broken, it will turn you broken. If you get with a man who is broken, it will turn you broken. Any person who has a fragment, a fragmented, frag, fragmented, sorry, a fragmented soul, that person will pass that along to you. You can have a soul, a good mind, a good heart, and you're happy. And I promise you, they will break you down if you stay with them long enough. And 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 issues and ugliness that nobody wants to settle with you because once they get to see the real you they're gonna run because even you don't know who the real you is and the person that you show up as has not healed and you're broken so if you want to find something real you have to become something real because you are what you attract but being good on the outside is never gonna work these men aren't intimidated because you got a good job these women don't care because you have a past or whatever it's because of your soul your spirit who you are you're gonna have to dig a little deeper all this superficial crap that y'all think really matters and ooh, look i got my stuff done my nails done hair done everything big oh I, I got big money i got this i got that i could protect i could provide all this no one and that's another thing a woman want to be a man so much she wants to be able to say that she could protect and provide until she in a situation where she needs a man to protect and provide you women are acting against your own personal nature. You will not design. Even biology itself will tell you that the man should be the one doing the protecting and providing and that the man should be doing the leader, be doing the leadership roles, right? But women want to be men. Official crap that y'all think really matters and, ooh, look, I got my stuff done, my nails done, hair done, everything big. Ooh, I, I got big money. I got this. I got that. I could protect. I could provide all this. No one cares. That's not what matters. At the end of the day, you're going to have to dig a little deeper and you're going to have to show up as a decent human being. Can you do that? If a decent human being. Unfortunately, a lot of women don't understand what decency is. Decency means that you're kind hearted, that you're submissive, that you are feminine, that you are soft. You're not so hard. You're feminine. You're not masculine. You listen. You have empathy. You have sympathy. You're not so reluctant to listen to instructions. You're not so rebellious and so stubborn. That is a great definition in, of decency. And decency could be described deeper than that. But they don't even comprehend the word decency in my most humble opinion. That's why they always show up indecent. Their clothing is indecent. They got their cheeks hanging out. Their language and verbiage is indecent. They use swear words every five seconds. Mother, F this, F that. I don't give a blank this and that. They don't understand Decency, because decency is connected to morality. So a lot of women who dress like whores, they are immoral women. They are indecent. So therefore, it's hard for them to be decent because they don't understand what decency is. No one cares. That's not what matters. At the end of the day, you're going to have to dig a little deeper and you're going to have to show up as a decent human being. Can you do that? If I strip away everything you have, your money, your cars, your looks, your this, your that, who are you at your core? That's what will sustain you when times get rough in a long-term relationship through thick and thin. That's how you get to old age with somebody. It's the little things that matter the most. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Now you let me know what you think about this topic, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Y'all take it easy now, you hear? Ooh.